Yeah, we drink and play games. This is Barcadium. Liquor bitches! We got a big decision to make. Yeah. So, take the big gamble on a family restaurant. Make a cozy little barcade. Classic video arcade. So, I have like two thought, trains of thought going on, okay? Okay. First train of thought is you go by what it's saying, family restaurant, arcade, or video arcade, right? Okay. The second train of thought is by which characters are mentioning it. Okay. And if we go by the characters mentioning it, the character I actually trust the most with money is Percy because we know him best. Okay. If we're going based on the the words of what are what what's being proposed here, okay. I do not want to do a family restaurant. I think that's a that's the biggest gamble in my opinion. Okay. Um, I would be cool with a barcade. I'm just kind of like worried because these are side characters mentioning it and. Yeah, they've, they've had their donut place and stuff, but like, you know, they're, they're kind of an unknown. Okay. I know you just want a barcade. <laughs> I it. just want a barcade. But here's also my thinking with this. Hamza's Luke. Mm -hmm. And we would just be taking a gamble on his money. Yeah. Which, not to be like, hey, I just want to take advantage of you kind of deal. But if Hamza's willing to actually do this shit, and he steps right out in front and is like, I am Hamza. I will gladly donate all the money, and then you can go ahead and enjoy whatever you want. Just make sure I have my family restaurant. <laughs> like, all right, you can run the family restaurant, and we'll we'll, we'll have our yeah. big arcade. Wait, and We're didn't good. he say he would like staff the restaurant too? Was mm -hmm. it yeah. Right, like he would specifically take care of the family restaurant part of it. To which I'm like, okay, that's your investment, dude. You do whatever yeah. you want. The barcade, we're a bit more in control of, right? Like we're a bit more in control of. It'd be cozy, it's nice, and it's also, uh, it serves liquor now, and then on top of that, while they would be the investors in it, we would still have control, over, uh, some control over it because yeah. we're the, 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 we're doing the arcade aspect of yeah. it. And, and it doesn't around. have to be a huge arcade, right? No. Like, he didn't say it, they didn't say it had to be like a huge thing, just like, we're also right. a bar. We, yes, we just need a liquor license, and once we get our liquor license, we're good to go. We don't have, we don't have to serve food, that cuts food costs, that cuts cooks. Yeah. All it is is just liquor. You just, you hire bartenders and you hire bartenders. Yeah. There you go. You're good. It's perfect. It, 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 it's, you, ju you just added a new position to your, um, your arcade, mm -hmm. which will bring in more people to work there. And then on top of it, you also now have a new source of revenue to bring in as well. Yeah. The classic video arcade is less of a gamble because it's familiar territory for us. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. The, the just hard part in. there is that we're technically a no-name going in right now. Yes. Because we probably can't say Fun Flex or anything. I'm sure that got sold. Probably, yeah. So. What if we get to name it and we just named it Fist of Fun? Arcade. If it's the fun, yes. <laughs> or Fist of Arcade. The Fun Fist. Oh, God. Never mind. Um, but... We we can try to go barcade. We can we can gamble a little. I want the barcade for this reason. I want the fuck barcade. It's <laughs> liquor and games. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> of course I want the barcade. Um, but if I had to make a logical reason of why, mm -hmm. out of these two, mm -hmm. well, we we're just learning that he has businesses, but we know they have a business. Yeah. And it's still running. Yeah. They're still going. Mm -hmm. If they're willing to actually invest in this and expand, I would rather trust them as actual business owners who have been kind of welcoming. It, it is true. Percy you, would just give us money and we would have And we would no just run on our own. I anything. feel like Hamza would run the restaurant part of it and just let us. I feel like there would be actual interaction between Ben and Matt. Okay. As much as I make fun of them, there would be actual interaction with them and I feel safer with that one. Okay. Let's do it then. This decision is going to affect the entire direction of the new new venture. What do I want? What's my dream? Liquor bitches! Who doesn't like getting their drink on like Donkey Kong? Let's open a barcade. I'll let you have that one because that's a good one. <laughs> Smash, uh, smashing. We'll take care of the bar side of things. Oh, they know how to. Oh, right, because they make drinks there too at the whole story. That's right. So they would at least have some experience. Ah, 
Dave really wanted to serve liquor this whole time. <laughs> I'm, I, you know what? Yeah. I'm sorry Yay. if I never believed in you earlier. I do now. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want. Wrangling, uh, uh, do what you do best. Wrangling games. Hamza admits to dis uh, disappointment, but cannot defy your iron will. Not sure Mookie's a fine fit for a bar kid. Percy, come on. <laughs> you, you, it'll still yeah, be it'll there. Be fine. It'll still be there. You just get to get a little drunk now. Oh, maybe not you, but everybody else will get drunk. Uh, but barcades do bring in nostalgic adult players. Certainly, some, uh, some, certainly some of them will rediscover Mookie and fall in love again. Okay, the second thing we need to talk about is what sorts of games we want. I, I, there's a little part of me that feels bad that I disappointed Hamza. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I just wanted to see him go, ah, oh, yes. And now an arcade is built and it just appears, like he just claps, and there's the barcade. And there's the family restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the Funplex did a little bit of everything, and we will too. We want to include all gamers. But we can also highlight one style of play or another. Really provide best-in-class gaming for a specific audience. Any thoughts? This is oh. Game Focus! Sweet! Retro games, it's gonna be all about retro games. You know, I'm capable of keeping those older games in tip-top shape. If we focus on retro games, we could serve an audience that Deco's completely ignoring. As would I. I would agree with Miss Fairchild. Retro games are an untapped market. I'd granted we pull in as much as pro uh, or wouldn't pull in much uh, much profit, but we know gamers are seeking them. We don't have to make all the money, just enough to keep our pure and un untainted dream float, and we can do that with a well curated retro game library. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are we choosing between? No, this is our first choice. I was getting. Oh, they're, they're I see. Up in their okay, process. I was getting ready to say. I was like, wait, these are the two options. <laughs> ah, option. yes. Ah, no way. Retro is cool and all, but let's talk esports games. They'll draw money better than jamming a magnet up your ass and dragging <laughs> you through Fort Knox. <laughs> well, I, I do oh, want creepy. <laughs> what an analogy! Jesus, that's beautiful. I couldn't think of that. I couldn't think of that if I wanted to. No. Get a couple good fighters, more than one FOD, some race and dance games, the kind of stuff where folks can compete head to head, and we're golden. I have to agree with Queen B. I like the idea of sticking a magnet in my ass and going to Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> Find me all the gold. <laughs> <laughs> you can play. Yeah, man, I hate myself. You can hate and you can play retro games on emulators and consoles, but you can't du duplicate the community experience of an arcade at home. If we had an eSports focus, we could build something together, which works as a second home for all sorts of gamers. Which is weird because, well, I guess I guess he is a little competitive. Like he's one of the yeah, best like at the, that the game. Dance yeah, no, he would be. Yeah, that does make sense. I have a feeling we are going to disappoint Ashley. <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to suggest. Redemption and prize games. They provide excellent profits. I know you have your little iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the core of Deco's business model, yes, but I think if we focus on those games, we can do them right. No predatory pricing, no scams or ripoffs. And the truth is, most people enjoy them. From kids wanting to win that big prize, to the wistful adults who are capturing their childhood dreams of playing skee ball on the boardwalk. Yes! They're step on the play, and most of all, on They're done right, we can make meaningful memories for everyone. And prizes! Did I mention the prizes? We can stock the shelves with the coolest prizes around. Better than Deco's prizes, which fall apart two minutes after we get them. So, but we did say we are going to have a little bit of everything. We, we just did. Want to it's what's the focus, one. yes. So we're gonna have prize games, we're gonna have esports, we're gonna have retro games. Mm -hmm. so which will we have a little bit more of? Which matches my ideal arcade more? We'll have all three, sure, but do we emphasize retro games, esports, or prize games? So what are you thinking? God, this is hard. Um, here's the thing. I don't think you necessarily need prize games for a barcade. 
I will say and, and that. And we're gonna have them anyway, but I don't think we need a focus. It's on not those. a focus, no. Like I understand there are places like Dave and Buster's where they still do have it, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a little bit more of their focus because it's like, hey, come in, win to win prizes and whatnot, mm -hmm. and and you can drink here. It's like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, cool. Um, I don't think that's a nece uh, necessity though mm -hmm. that we do that. I think if people are going to play games and drink. They don't necessarily need a prize. They just want to have a good time yeah. and drink and have fun. Um, there's most social aspect to that. I think, um, e even though it's just like, I, I will be, I, I, and this is why I don't think it's a focus. I think it can be on the back burner for Gavin and Ashley, is this. You go to a barcade, if they have ski ball and they have that there, that's cool. Because mm -hmm. it, it's like, a, it can be a cool cool down game. Like, yeah. you can just be like, oh, chill, yeah, ski ball, whatever. When I go to the barcade in our town, yeah. I will like it's literally, it's ski ball, literally the one it's I'm thinking in of, between. Yeah, yeah I mean, you have air hockey there too, and um, that's, that's you know, it's there, but it's not like, this is the game I'm going to. Usually I go there, I'm like, I want to play Guitar Hero, I want to get to the leaderboards mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, I want to play like fun games where it's like I can go back and forth with somebody. The retro games, um, I would say, are, are necessary. Like you need to have that. Mm. Like your Pac-Man's, your Galaga, your uh, your pinball, um, your, your, anything. Your retro alley. Yeah, you, you need that. But I think what will draw people is some sort of competition. So the esports games, I think, will draw a lot more because one, they're more recent. Mm -hmm. They're always going to stay up to date. So it's always going to draw in people. You do a Madden tournament, Madden 20 launches. Sweet, Madden 20 tournament. People, Madden players will come in and flock for that because they'll know that that's there. You do a um, um, Guitar Hero tournament. There are still people who still play that game. And you do that, they'll come right in. You can do the same thing for like, uh, um, and even if you do, just, if, even if it's not just esports, they do it for Dance Dance Revolution. You can do it for um, um, the, the Guitar Hero. Anything that has some sort of competition to it. Yeah. If it gets people in the door, they will come in. If they know that, like, oh shit, there's something to compete for here, or there's something I can get better at, and then when the next competition comes up, we do it. So my mind is going towards esports. So. I was thinking that it would be smart to pick the one I personally hate the most, but based on how well Fist of Fun did, we should go with esports because Fist of Fun was so much esport heavy mm -hmm. and it brought people in. You drew, we drew in the, I mean, granted, thank you, Iris, but yeah. still, the biggest player in the world. Mm -hmm. came into this thing and crowds of people came in as a yeah. result and it's not like we needed Kami to show up all the time mm -hmm. people still came in as a result of him coming in yeah so I think it makes the most sense to do, at least. To do a little bit more of that arcades are all about healthy communities we can build an e-sports scene around the new arcade we'll have regulars and healthy competition I'm game for that. Hot damn. Now this is a plan. A choice choice, kid. My body is ready for this next dance. Thanks, Tao. <laughs> okay, so that's money and games. Now let's go beyond what we already had at the Bundlex. Let's really make this something special. I want to see a drinking tournament now. <laughs> just, you have to take a drink every, like, you just keep going. You got to keep drinking. You can't, like, you, you have to blow into, like, uh, one of those, what, what is it called? They measure your alcohol. Mm. Uh, a blower. A blower, sure, whatever. Um, and yeah, you have to blow, and it's just like, if you're not above .08, nope, sorry. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep drinking. But you don't drive. Do not drive. You, 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 you're getting a taxi cab or an Uber back home, or somebody, one of your friends are taking you home. Oh. New projects. I want a defining feature for our arcade. One which will make it stand out. Something nobody else is doing. Something nobody's even thought of before. Drinking esports tournaments. <laughs> All ideas on the table. If it was too outlandish for the Funplex, it's not too outlandish for me. Show me what you got. Well, um, I mean, 
I'm not really a part of this, but come on, you're my best friend and 100% part of this. I couldn't be here in this moment if it wasn't for you. Go on, Juniper. What's your idea? Branding. I'm freelancing now, which means I could come on board as your personal brand manager. One heck of a consulting gig. That's actually not a bad idea. An arcade needs really stellar image management to stand out from the rest. Like the event poster I made for you. What if? Oh, hi Jennifer. I can add to that. What if we work together? I was thinking of designing a new mascot costume anyway. But I can collaborate and coordinate with you on how times of visuals for the rest of the arcade. Yes! Yeah, it's a winning combination. Ashley and I can do great work together coming up with some really stellar branding and marketing. We'll stand out in a crowd. Alright. Hell, I know exactly what sort of project I'd want us to do. Streamer support. Assembling and packing away my streaming rig each day is ridiculous, and duct taping a webcam in front of a screen is a lousy hack. If I could just step right up to a game and, I don't know, swipe a card or something and be streaming with a direct feed in seconds? Well, I can think of a dozen streamers who just flock to our place to get a piece of that. Yeah! Actually, I think I know how you could do that. I could rig up a general purpose daughter board which plays man in the middle with the video feed, works the uh, which works in the RFID reader to get a streamer's info. I strangely understand half of that. <laughs> like half of it I get. Ties into a central video encoder. I understand that. On the Wi-Fi network, kind of. I know I, what a Wi-Fi network is. Well, I like, I... HDMI is a bitch. Um, yeah, I can make that happen, and without damaging any classic hardware. So, um, you may not know this, but, um, so when I connect my PS4 and I do any recording that's on the PS4, mm. here's what ends up happening. There's a communication that's going on between the PS4 and the, um, the Elgato game capture, and it goes into the computer. And what happens is that because it's realizing that I'm using recording software, HDMI has something called HDCP, which is copyright protection. I don't know if that's actually what CP stands for, but I understand that what they're trying to do is to encrypt the data and protect it to stop you from recording something like, say, Hulu, for instance. Mm. So you can't just record shows because it's an app that's present on there. Yeah. So what ends up happening is sometimes that feed and that signal gets disconnected. Um, so there are sometimes I forget to turn it off on my PS4 and I'm like, why is there a black screen? I have every, oh, I haven't turned this off yet. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's some of that conversation is happening in what she's talking about. Um, I can make that happen without damaging any classic hardware. <clears throat> Once more in English, please. I know software, not hardware. We stick a thingy in the thingy and everything works just fine. <laughs> I'm sure there is some legal and copyright issues to tackle, but if we can do it, let's be the world's first streaming arcade. That's a big project. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, well, if the reason why older games are considered a dead end is that they don't work in the ticket game ecosystem. Lovely. Why not add ticket output to normal games? Oh. We could reward skilled players with prize tickets based on their high score or speed of completion. With the right balancing, we could make old games just as desirable as new ones. That's not a bad Perhaps. idea. It's not, actually. Um, as Naomi said, as Naomi said, there may be legal hurdles to clear, but I'm in favor of this idea. Because there's tickets involved. Uh, it's, not that I, it's not that I love prize games. I find them boring, personally. You know my favorite pinball. You found your husband, <laughs> but profit is but profit is the life uh, lifeblood of an arcade, and prize games are profitable. If we can get Moopy producing tickets, well, that's something nobody's ever done before. Hmm. Interesting, but as much as I'd love to do all three, I doubt we have the money for all that. So let's focus on one project to launch arcade with. Do we really want to have good branding, or streamer support, or retrofit tickets on old games? This, this is great because I think these are all great ideas. They are. Um, the the arcade streaming sounds very complicated, and like it might take some time to uh, okay. work. Okay. As someone who streams, I've always talked about the idea of us like, oh hey, we would go to that uh, that barcade place, and um, it would be like, oh shit, yeah, we can just record and do whatever there. It would be 
really fucking awesome if it was just convenient to be able to do that sort of thing and just be like, oh, all I gotta do is just punch in my username and password for this. Great. Bam, there we go. And then I can log out and we're out of here. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's, for me, not an attraction. It's a convenience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and that's why I actually think that's probably the worst out of the three. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I like it. I think that's a very innovative idea. I just don't know if that is a... And don't get me wrong. Somebody could very well be the kind of person that frequents that place often. Mm -hmm. And then is like, oh, wait. Now I can stream here? I'm going to do Guitar Hero streams. Or I'm going to do uh, um, uh, the Pac-Man streams or whatever. And then that's how they get popular. I'm not saying it's like it's that it's a terrible idea. I just think that for people who are streamer streamers, it's more of a convenience, less of a um, a draw, if that makes sense. Um, I don't hate the ticket idea, um, but I wonder how many people like is is. The fact that you can get tickets out of it, a draw. Going to change anything, like, mm. change a lot. Yes. Now, there could be people who understand how archaic games work. Like, I don't know, Percy, for instance, who gets, like, two million something points yeah. in loopies, and then it's just tickets are spilling out. Yeah. Um, that I worry about, because there's not much that you can really do to kind of change the game itself. It's... Yeah. It's an archaic 70s, 80s game. Yeah. Um, and then Juniper and Ashley with the branding thing. I mean, branding is very important. It is important, but it doesn't necessarily bring anything new to the table. But it is a very, very important aspect to get people to understand what you are. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just so kind of, I don't know what these three I think for me, the the best thing for me is branding. That okay. might be it. All right, we'll go with branding. What do you have? No, I, I think you just kind of went over everything. Uh, exactly the way you thought. Not necessarily. Okay. I just think it's been long enough that you've gone through everything. Let's go branding. What would you want? I'm go with branding. Really? Okay. I was hoping you would just combat me on that one so I could hear the opposite opinion, but no. All right, branding it is. We need to stand out from the pack. That means strong graphic design and a great mascot. Can't think of anyone better suited than Juniper and Ashley. Yeah, you won't regret this, Becky. I got ideas. <laughs> I'll make the ultimate cosplay. My masterpiece. My Mona Lisa. Just you wet and sad. One more thing. Final oh. decision. The name. Oh, God. And this is going to be my baby, my dream arcade. I've got a name already in mind for it. So, barring any objections, I'd like to welcome you all to... Oh! Remember, because it was supposed to be you stick a magnet up your ass to go to Fort to Knox. Fort Knox? Yeah, <laughs> so it's a magnet to gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, seriously. I mean, I don't think we're going to remember that well. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, why did we name it yeah. this? <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, here we are. We picked branding, and meanwhile, we picked the worst name possible. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, we're bound to pick a terrible name. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Is after actually the name, after the game. No, but that's what originally popped up here. Yeah. But it actually works. Yeah. What are we? Because we have a we're barcade. Yeah. Yes, we are an arcade that serves spirits. spirits. Mm -hmm. It actually works. And we can remind everyone, this is the name of the game. If you yes. want to buy it, play yeah. it. It's so weird. <laughs> like, it's it's like, I was like, no, 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 let's actually name it. And I was like, wait, actually, no, that that actually works. <laughs> that that one actually does. It does work. Yes. And, there, and, there, and there's a lot of spirit in the people that want to be invested. Oh, it works yeah. on two levels. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's probably where they're like, here you go. Yeah, they're like, by the way, we, we, we figured it out for you. Thank you. <laughs> Arcade Spirits. Let us save you from terrible <laughs> names. <laughs> what, like magnets of Fort Knox? <laughs> you didn't even put Fort Knox. No, I said magnets of gold mine. <laughs> Arcade Spirits, is that right? That works. Nope, try again. <laughs> Arcade Spirits. I guess it's sort of a pun, since we're going to have liquor and spirits, but, you know. Oh, I see. The game was like, oh, if you type that in, we know. Yeah. <laughs> Arcade Spirits. Wait, are we playing that game? <laughs> I like it. We can work with that. Let's hire for Arcade Spirits. Yeah, shot, 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 shot. Our home lives again. How exciting. Yeah. A toast then? One by one, everyone raises their glasses. I fetch mine, room temperature, drink, and raise mine high in t turn. For those we've lost and those we've yet to meet. Let's do this right. Together, we can accomplish anything. Now let's get super drunk. Um... You want to get super drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yay! <laughs> this is a party, right? Let's all get blind drunk and celebrate. Oh! For arcade spirits and the future. Arcade For spirits! Arcade spirits! Arcade spirits! <laughs> Naomi was a little late. She's like, oh, are you doing something? Oh, I'm bad, I'm sorry. The timing's not good. Losing everything and then getting it all back and then some. It's been a roller coaster of a week to be sure. But I can rest now. Abs but I can't rest now. Absolutely not. Right, I need sleep though. I need to take charge of this project and of my life in general. I need to do what they uh, I need to do for them what Francie did for us. I also need to do um I, my brain just kind of farted out there. Yeah. I don't know what I was <laughs> That's okay. I'm ready. I'm willing. And this is our time. We are Arcade Spirits! Yay! You cleared level 6 of Arcade Spirits. A winner is you. Now let's see your score. You're proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Also, you've scored 20,800 points. Woohoo! Shops in the volcano devastated city of Pompeii bear the characteristics of a pizzeria. That's a neat, if a bit depressing, pizza fact just for you. Yeah. Do you want to save your game before proceeding to level 7? We will, but we're not proceeding to level 7 today. Nope. Next time on Barcadium. Who knows? Arcade Spirits. Yeah. We open it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a game. It's the game inside. It's not a game. It's not a game. It's a game inside the game. Oh, it's, it's actually, a, it's, it's a barcade, it's a barcade inside, the inside the game on Barcadium, yeah. if that makes any sense. We should have just named it Barcadium. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, there's a concept that works. <laughs> but now we know why it's called that. Because they secretly wanted us to make a... <laughs> make a th th <laughs> they gave like, us all these options and they were just sitting there waiting. Like, Pick, please, the Pick the barcade. Pick the barcade. I, I would have definitely named it something else if there was a ghost. That, that's not fun. Next time! Bye! <laughs>